South Africa is considered a convertible country, mainly because of our good weather and our plentiful sunshine. But there are more reasons why convertibles turn heads than the amount of sunshine they let in. They are also considered more glamorous and more extrovert. BMW's contender in the premium compact convertible segment used to be the 1 Series convertible. But some people thought that that car with its bug-eyed front was a little bit on the ugly side. Now, for the brand new 2 Series convertible, BMW hopes to address that problem. The Bavarian brand's new naming convention designates even numbers to all two-door cars, which means what used to be called the 1 Series Coupe is now badged the 2 Series. But the 2 Series isn't just about odds and evens, it's also an all-new car with brand new aesthetics to match. Those characteristics have been carried over to the 2 Series convertible which shares the same smoother front end with those large tapered headlights, the hungry air intakes and the profile bonnet. It also has the high waistline and the scalloped flanks, all of which means that this car looks every bit the extrovert and glamorous convertible. The rear treatment is tidy with a short high deck, integrated bumper with some subtle aero detailing, large taillight clusters and a third brake light integrated into the boot lid. The canvas hood is comprehensively insulated to counter the usually higher noise levels associated with ragtop designs and is electrically operated, which means it can be raised and lowered in around 20 seconds at the push of a button. And you don't have to be stationary while doing so, the top can be operated at speeds of up to 50 km an hour. Anybody familiar with a 2 Series Coupe, or any current generation BMW for that matter, will feel instantly at home in this cockpit, which is very much driver focused with efficient ergonomics and this iDrive system which has now become well ensconced as the control interface between car and driver. It's also really nicely fitted out. This is the luxury version, leather seats are standard, some wooden trim which might not be to everybody's taste, but it is a very comfortable place to be in. The rear of course being a convertible is perhaps more viable than the previous car, but it's still pretty cramped back there. While on the subject of size, the boot may have grown by 30 litres to 335 litres with a top up, but it's still less than practical. With the hood retracted, boot capacity shrinks to 280 litres. As has become the norm, BMW offers an extensive list of extras and trim levels to customize the 2 Series to suit personal taste. Buyers get to choose between luxury line and sport line or the more extrovert M Sport treatment with a host of additional options on offer. Our test car is the 228i, which means it's powered by a 2-litre four-cylinder engine with a twin-scroll turbocharger, allowing it to produce 180 kilowatt of maximum power, together with a torque peak of 350 newton meters. As expected, there are two transmission choices, a six-speed manual as standard, and this car's eight-speed Steptronic automatic gearbox. Drive, as is still the case with most BMWs, is to the rear wheels. The 228i convertible occupies the sweet spot in a three-model range that comprises the 220i at one end and the more extrovert M235i on the other. The 220i has 135 kilowatt and 270 newton meters on tap, while the 235i's 240 kilowatt and 450 newton meters turns it into a hardcore performance machine. Scuttle shake and chassis integrity remain issues that can compromise the ride and dynamics when compared to their tin top counterparts, but BMW says it has increased torsional rigidity by 20% compared to the previous model. That also bodes well for safety. With a curb weight of just over 1500 kilograms, the 228i has a power to weight ratio of 117 kilowatt per ton, which does suggest decent performance and the car certainly doesn't disappoint. Feels very quick off the mark, nice and responsive in terms of in-gear acceleration and the figures do show that as well. 0 to 100 time, 6 seconds dead, top speed 250 kilometers an hour. BMW's push to produce more efficient cars is reflected in the factory fuel consumption figures which claim just 6.6 .6 litres per 100 kilometres for the combined cycle. However, much depends on driving style and piloting a sporty machine with such circumspection is nigh impossible. The test consumption achieved after some brisk driving was a somewhat thirstier 10.4 litres per 100 kilometres, but then who can tackle Bain's clue of pass without at least a measure of enthusiasm? You certainly don't need to cane the convertible to enjoy it. With a top down, it's more about savouring your surroundings than going hell for leather. 
push too hard on the slipstream and buffeting become downright unpleasant. Oh, and considering how relentless our South African sun can be, sunscreen and a hat are compulsory. The new BMW 2 Series convertible is a significant step up from its 1 Series based predecessor. It's more spacious and more comfortable and the stiffer chassis adds refinement and improved handling. In 228i guys, it also has the power to make it a really fun and exciting car to drive. But the big question is whether the 75,000 Rand you have to pay more to get the convertible versus the coupe is actually worth it. A lively turbo engine, swift shifting auto gearbox and a well sorted chassis, especially in the ragtop context, combine to make the 228i convertible a surprisingly satisfying car to drive. The sleek new look adds real visual appeal too, but compared to the coupe, acquisition cost is high, while interior space and overall practicality are compromised, all of which goes to show that glamour doesn't come cheap.